I have a skill. It's nothing extraordinary. We all have skills. And I'm sure I share mine with a lot of people in this room. I know how to code, how to write software, how to build programs. And I like to use my skills sometimes just because I can. For example, when I was 15, I built this uh, online game. It was based on chess, but you didn't have to wait for your opponent to move his pieces in order to eat yours. So you could play very fast and eat all of his pieces before he could move. Well, I never played the game and I didn't care about chess. I just enjoyed building it just because I could. And looking back, I think it has always been the case for me. I don't stay with what I see. I like to go beyond. Maybe it's a way to feel that there is no limit. If something does not exist, maybe I can create it. And what I love about my work today is I get to do the unexpected. At Short Edition, in the company I work, we have a huge community of writers and readers that are writing short stories and sharing them. It's a fantastic place for young artists to write and share their work. Well, two years ago, we had this idea. We were having a coffee next to this coffee machine, this one. And we had this crazy idea. It would be great to have these st stories from our community come out of the vending machine. You know, like little rows of paper like this, right in the vending machine, next to the snack bar or the soda, that you could get on your way to work or when you went for the bus with a short story on it. At first, it was just a joke, but then we wanted to try it. So I called my friend Arno, he knows about electronics, and we got a bunch of uh, electronic components, and we built this uh, rough and dirty prototype. I brought it here. So it's just a box, right, where you press a button, and it's going to pick a story at random in the pool of stories from our community, and it's going to print it on paper. It's a very short story. You can choose your reading time with the three buttons, either one minute, three minutes, or five minutes, depending on your mood. It's primitive, and it was useless to us. We just had fun building it, like the process of building it. But we didn't know at the time we were going to have a much bigger impact. Because a few weeks later, this man, He's the mayor of a city, uh, Grenoble, in the Alps, the French Alps. He just happened to come to, to our office, and uh, we saw, when he saw the prototype, he saw something else. He saw a way to promote culture by making people read more, to make culture accessible everywhere, to everyone. So he wanted bigger ones for the city of Grenoble. And I have to admit, we had no idea how difficult this would be. We thought it we would be done in 12 weeks, and it took us 51 weeks to build the, the first 10 machines. Because we had a lot of problems. For example, we'd press on a button, a bigger one, we'd press on a, on a button, the printer would be printing, but the paper would always get stuck somewhere in the machine. It was so frustrating. But we made it. And then, other people got interested, and they saw something else in this machine that we didn't see at first. The University of Pennsylvania wants to promote reading to their students by installing those machines in their libraries. France, uh, the train station, installed these machines in the waiting areas of the train station. It's a way for them to promote a better user experience by offering people a gift while they wait to the train. Now, if you travel to France by train, you'll be able to grab a short story on the way. Even surprisingly, the government of Dubai, by installing those machines in the city, wants to make the young people of Dubai read more Arabic as they tend to read more English. They see this, this as a way to keep their culture alive. 
And even more surprisingly to us at first is the world-famous movie director Francis Ford Coppola, the one who directed the movie The Godfather, got one short story dispenser or so for his residence in San Francisco. And it makes sense because Coppola is a man of literature. He owns a publishing company of only short stories. And what he likes in the short story format is that you read the story in one setting the same way you watch a movie in one setting. And he loved the idea of this dispenser that gives you art for free. We built something that was useless to us at first, just because we could. Just for the fun of mixing two very different ideas, short stories and vending machines. And then it became something bigger. It became a way of spreading culture everywhere to everyone, of learning new languages, of keeping some cultures alive, of helping young people, young artists, to write and share their work. It's about giving something to someone just because we can. We all have skills. What skill do you have? Can you build something useless? Can you give something to someone just because it's fun? Just because you can? Who knows? Maybe you are going to have a much bigger impact than you think. Thank you.